Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host there. Once again, it is TM Rat Rat. Have you seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. If you will, you might be a part of the Rat Rat Show in a future episode. Um, the link will be down below. Double click it. Please DM me. Then you and I can make arrangements for a future episode. We will discuss about any kind of topic you please. But don't make fun of me. It is no good. Now, the if you a reason why I'm bent over like this, there's a light. Okay? That's the only reason. So, I hate this. I can't help it. I mean, I can move my desk and computer in another part of the room, but I love the sunlight, you know? And plus, I don't think I have any more room. Another part of the room, I gotta make arrangements again. I might do that in the future, or maybe not. Who knows? But I love the background. You guys can see that stuff. Okay. Now, once again, I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, on this subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below, either or, it will be down below. Okay, now, this past Friday, I'm surprised that SmackDown beat AEW Rampage. In viewership and ratings. Wow. I don't know if that's really true or untrue. So what are your thoughts? I guess the 30 minutes of SmackDown of commercial free paid off. I don't know. For me, good for good for SmackDown. And I guarantee AEW is very pissed off. But it's all, you know, it's a business thing, you know. I really wish that Raw could do that. Anyway, the last 30 minutes of Raw, commercial free, but they would never do that. Will Raw will ever get better? I hopefully. We'll find out after this Thursday, Crown Jewel, because after Crown Jewel, then when they recently had the WWE Draft, then the new people will be on, the, on their new brand, you know? For how long? Who knows? Until W and McMahon decided to switch things up again. You know that's going to happen again. You know that it will. So, I am not a big fan of the W draft. I think the W draft is pointless. And until McMahon decided to, or well, actually realized this W draft was a huge letdown. It was, because we all know in the near future that he's going to say, or McMahon says, let's do another change-up. It does not matter what brand these athletes are. It's your product has been so bad, especially on Raw, okay? If they ever if they ever combine shows, then maybe things will get better. But I guarantee you the reason they're not doing that, some of these wrestlers are complaining because they don't get enough TV time. And when they do, they don't use them correctly. They use them in a stupid backstage segment or a crappy match. You know what I'm saying? So these wrestlers, some of these wrestlers are never, ever happy. So, I mean, that's why, that's why I think. I miss when Raw and SmackDown used to be combined. That means, for example, you could have like Triple H on Raw, Triple H on SmackDown. You could have... Um, Jeff Hardy and Raw, Jeff Hardy and SmackDown. Now these days, you gotta have one brand here on one roster, and you gotta have another brand for another roster. I think that's kind of ridiculous. Another thing is, do we really need so many flipping belts on both brands? Absolutely not. Now, do you think AEW Rampage is gonna bounce back? Absolutely. Now, do you think AEW is a better company? Absolutely. Now, why do you think I'm not watching it? I'm just not into it. I watched a few minutes of it before. I'm just just not my cup of tea. I know a lot of you don't believe that, but it's it's that's just how I that's just my opinion. Everyone out there, have a good one. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I think this past Friday was okay. Did you know they they had a king of the the king and a queen. Tournament and the finals will be this Thursday for Crown Jewel. I'm so glad that 
Charlotte Flair was not part of it. Thank for the God. But she's the champion of her brand. If she was not a champion, I guarantee she'd be part of this. So thank God. So if she's not a champion, she'd be the queen, queen of the ring somehow. So let me know what you think about this article. If you guys care or don't care. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, peace out. Thanks for watching.